It's a very intimate river that people have family connections going back generations after generations that have come here to enjoy the cool waters, the cool summers, the forested landscape that has come back, the terrific fishing, just playing in the river. That's the thing I like most when I'm out, is watching children and adults play in this river. I stand in the middle of the river, afternoon warm on my arms, my face dried tight. Upstream, my mother jumps up from the water, shakes loose a spray of glitter, and plucks at the skirt stuck to her legs. Below me, my daughter bubbles and chugs, a tugboat, or maybe a blonde water bug. Between, I am on solid sand, numb to my thighs, my eyes snagged, by water cupped over boulders and weeds spread out behind like tiny fingered hands. I cannot feel them brush against my flesh. My knees, my calves, my feet have left, gone back to the chill flow around them. I think I fell in love with the river when I started painting it. Painting the river, standing on the river has been a great source of inspiration for me since before I can remember. We, we made an agreement, the river and I, <laughs> that we would, we would have a mutual respect for one another. Craig Blacklock is a nationally renowned nature photographer who devoted two years of his life to capturing the beauty of the St. Croix for a book he published for the 50th anniversary of the creation of the, of the St. Croix National Scenic Riverway. It's certainly a, a beautiful experience and being in this kind of place and for me traveling as a solo kayaker or canoeist uh, the silence that comes with this is really a major part of it. So incredible to have this resource so close to the Twin Cities major metropolitan areas within half a day's drive you can be on the water and if you're not traveling on a weekend you can have this totally to yourself.